What do you say we change out a fuel filter on this 4700? Woo! <laughs> Point of view, I think that's what it stands for. Got your clip to the brim of my hat. So you can see all the bullshit I'm doing. I had a honey and peanut butter Sammy. It's fucking delicious. Put a toolbox on the truck, mat it in there. We'll see. See how we like it. See how long till it rusts out. All right, so uh -oh. we got a Nampa fuel filter for this thing. I never changed out a fuel filter on a 4700 before, so uh, we'll take a look. But how hard could it be? Anyway, yeah. So the customer. Um, actually, this is going to be a. I'm going to have two videos. One's going to be an inspection on this thing. The other one's going to be how to replace uh, the fuel filter on this thing. Um, anyway, the customer says, I asked him about a couple things. When did you last change your oil? And he just changed the oil, did it himself. Cool, more power to you. Um, but he says, Man, the fuel filter, I have no clue how old that thing is or how long it's been there. Well, if you don't know, just change it. You know, I don't even know what they recommend on this thing. I'd have to look it up. But I can tell you, my truck, I change every 20,000 miles. So, um, I don't know. I'd say do the same thing. Change the fuel filter every 20,000 miles in this thing. Maybe it's too much. Maybe it's too little. It's what I do, and it's worked out. So, so it looks like your fuel housing. And I guess it just snaps right in there. Threads in there or whatever. The housing really don't look too old, but I think this was like 55, 60 bucks at Napa. Now I'm not 100% sure how uh, they want you taking that off. I'm just going to use a screwdriver. in this thing. If there's any pressure, there should be some. Hmm. Okay, don't really feel like much. Well, it looks like they put a nap. This is a Napa one. So that's good. Napa with Napa. And everyone's going to say, Brad, does that fuel filter look bad to you? Does it look bad? I don't know. It's like all the fuel filters that come out of my truck. I mean, maybe it's a little darker than I anticipated. But, yeah, look at all that. Look at all that oil. Diesel 
around where the seal's gonna go. Torque this to the right specs. The right spec, you're just making sure that you can't put your fingernail in there. That's the right spec. That's what I do with my uh, Ford. That's good. Can't get my fingernail in there. So we're looking good. Um, Figure what's going on here. Fuel delivery, fuel delivery. Gotcha. Gotcha. Fuel return no. It says close, open. Oh, so you can drain it down. Well, we didn't do that, did we? It's got a little drain valve here. Open. And it's draining, so that works. Okay. So we're going to have to prime this thing. Probably do it with this Schrader here. I'll have to go get my kit. See, this thing's been wrapped. See the plastic? Mm -hmm. oh. This thing's getting inspected. Uh, look at this air hookup. Hmm. I know what the air hookup's for. Yeah, let's take this guy off too. Ooh, it's shit. Let's look at what pliers are. Oh, I'm gonna have to put some pliers on her too. Lucy. I did not buy this fuel from Napa. Sure looked. I'm not too sure what this thing is. I hear something siphoning. That little sump screen. Breathing, so let's open this thing up. Yeah, this little, little return sump screen. Man, I need to put these tiny little things in these trucks. Well, I'm going to put you off for a second. I'm going to go uh, blow the, the shit out of this thing. And then uh, I'll tune you back in. Alright, so I blew uh, piss out of this thing with the compressor. Glad I did because there was a lot of uh, rust and debris and 
black shit, probably gasket or o-ring material, came out. So that's good. this back on so all in all I mean this seems like a super easy straightforward job the hardest part is just gonna be bleeding it It's a busy time, time of year for me. Spring's coming. I got mowers out the yin yang I gotta do. Today's St. Patrick's Day. So Aaron go broad to all. Alright, that seems good to me. Check the fuel pressure on this thing. Ooh. I need an adapter, I guess. Shit. What I got. A little kit here. This should work. this to check we'll check the fuel pressure and then we're we'll also check uh, we'll also bleed it down this way it's probably gonna be around 40 pounds from the pump Hang tight, I gotta get the keys, put them inside, idiot. <laughs> well, I just let the primer prime itself out, which he started right the fuck up, so.
fresh oil delivery. <clears throat> pretty much concludes the video <clears throat> you definitely want to prime get the air out of it because uh well we saw looks like she wants to get up to like 50 psi and she does this thing's got a sack of bowls on it not really 7.3 really don't have much power I mean, honestly, she drives good. Um, does the job just right. And, um, yeah, I'll get the job done. So I'm going to change that headlamp out and then um, drive this to my buddy's shop to do a full inspection. See you next time.